Hi everybody, this is Dave Vellante of Wikibon, and this is theCUBE, where we extract the signal from the noise, bring you the brightest minds that we can find. We like to drop into events, and today we are at the sixth annual TUG Wine event, and TUG is, stands for Technology Underwriting for Greater Good. And it was founded by a number of entrepreneurs and venture capitalists. And what they do is each year they gather, uh, they raise a bunch of money, and this is a happening place for big data, for tech, for entrepreneurialism, and for venture capital in Boston. And as you know, we at theCUBE, we've been covering that like a blanket for the last several years. And we're here with David Brown, who is the executive director of TUG. David, thanks very much for spending some time with us. Oh, thank you, David, I appreciate it. It's great to be here. So Dave, tell us a little bit about uh, TUG and uh, what the mission is. Yep, so TUG was started uh, six years ago. This is actually our seventh wine party now. And very simple mission when we started. If you looked at kind of the venture capital community, there was a really interesting intersection where the venture capitalists were all centering out on the 120 interchange kind of far out, and all the entrepreneurs were going out kind of into the city. And so TUG started as a, a two-fold kind of event system. One, to bring the entrepreneurs, the venture capitalists together, but second, to really focus on how do we use the innovation, the entrepreneurship, and the understanding of high risk entrepreneurship to support social ventures. So we bring that, those two communities, the venture capitalists, the entrepreneurs, as well as the service provider communities together to really support entrepreneurship and social entrepreneurship in that manner in the way it should be supported. So um, you mentioned sort of the migration from Waltham yep. you know, to sort of Boston, Cambridge. You're really seeing that now, especially with all the big data action, all the you know, sort of renewed interest in, uh, in, in kids coming out of MIT. Talk about that a little bit. Yeah, certainly. Um, you know, and again, this is something that we've been able to inherit and kind of been very fortunate to see. But as you kind of watch the venture capitalists come back downtown, you watch the community here in Boston really grow. Tug's been on a wave, kind of a momentum wave, of bringing those two groups really together. And for us, it's fantastic because it's a really lively, really energetic community to watch and to engage with. Now, talk about the greater good piece of Tug. Uh, what are some of the charities that you guys support, and uh, and and how does that all work? Yeah, certainly. So all the money that we raise at our events go to support early stage nonprofits with the mission of supporting entrepreneurship, education, and life experiences for youth. Today we've supported over 18 organizations throughout the greater Boston area. Um, tonight we actually have six showcasing organizations, three of which are brand new, three of which are returning, and we'll give them grants anywhere from $2,500 to $25,000 based on audience vote. So part of the fun part of the greater good that we, we speak of is that we look at crowdsourced kind of community-oriented giving. So we bring that entire community together to say, who would you want to vote for, how should we support them, and what is our overall mission? And so that's how Tug really funds its, its companies and where it's starting to head from now. now what kind of organizations do you fund? Um, so groups focus on education, entrepreneurship, and life experiences for youth. Um, typically in very nascent stages, so $250,000 or less in capital more risky propositions, but with really high growth pro opportunities. So if you look at a typical venture capital model, you're looking for a good team and you're looking for a good market opportunity. We say, let's look at the same exact things, but support that for social innovation. So these are essentially nonprofit startups <laughs> around social innovation that can help the greater good. Exactly. I mean, who better to support nonprofit entrepreneurs than for-profit entrepreneurs? We have people who can act as mentors, who can make act as funders, and who can really understand what these nonprofits are going through. And that's what we love to see our community do. What's your background? How did you end up at Tug? Uh, you know, it's it's always a small world, but uh, in most recently I'm coming from an MBA program over at Babson. Uh, before that, I was a manager for an industrial supplies company, ran a clean tech company, and actually helped grow an AIDS organization in South Africa. So this is kind of a culmination of a, a wide range of very business-centric but social-centric opportunities. Awesome. Young guy, start that in high school or what? Since I was born, you have a parent who's a doctor, a parent who's a social worker, you find yourself in this world very quickly. Now, so. How do people find more uh, information about Tug if they're interested in getting involved? Certainly. I mean, so two very simple ways. Our website, www.tug.org, or you can even email me directly. I'm always happy to upgrade and, and bring people into the community, which is just david at tug.org. So very simple. Awesome. So we're expecting uh, 900, 1,000 people here tonight. The place is going to be rocking, and uh, we're excited to be here. Thank you, David. Pleasure to have you here. Thanks for coming on.